We live or what? What up? Movers, where you at? Movers, where we at? Christian, what up? I see you in the building, y'all. Where my move is at? This is all, what do we call it? This ain't a rain date. This is a, 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 a snow date. <clears throat> this is what we do. I apologize to everybody. Last night was a, hold up, my man Jay Cardiello joined? Jay, what up, man? Yo, Jay, I sent you a text the other day. You didn't hit me back. We need to get busy, kid. This audience needs you, Jay. They need you. We got to talk offline, brother. For all my movers who... Hold up. I see my man Joel in the building. TC Unleashed in the building. Castro. What up? Rome, let's grow. We going to grow together, y'all. Movers. You know, it's crazy because last night, I mean, it, it was, it was, it was a good and a bad thing because I was able to see, like, we had to stop and start three different times. The snow in New York was crazy. It was messing with this IG live connection, but I'm glad to see everybody back in the building. It lets me know what we're doing here is meaningful. Every Monday night is Monday night motivation, 7 p.m., Wednesday nights, it's open forum. This is where all of the movers, all of the movers come. It's, it's, it's our safe space. It's our community. This is where we get to ask questions. It's where we get to share our testimonials. It's where we get to share our highs and our lows. So please come to this with questions. Come to this with something that somebody else in the building can learn from, that it can help them in their journey. Please don't come to just sit. This is a safe place. You can always jump in this live and feel like you are amongst friends, peers, brothers and sisters. We are movers. This is what we do. So I give it a few more minutes and um, I just want everybody like like come here with something to contribute. We're not just taking, we're giving. That's the whole reason we're doing what we're doing. This is for us to, to really help us. Anybody that's within this circle, I consider you family. It is exactly why I do what I do. What up, King? What up? Who we got there? And I'm sorry if your name, and it's always hard for me to read these things. If, 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 if your name is not in your handle, please type your name. It's a good night. It's a good night. And, and, and again, I just want to thank everybody for coming back. And, you know, last night we had to cut this thing off three different times. And each time everybody jumped back on. It lets me know what we're doing we're providing value. Y'all are getting something out of it. It's not just me because I get a lot out of this thing. But obviously, y'all are getting something out of it too. Brother North, what up, brother? Brother North been down with me from day one. Make sure y'all go out there. Check his music out. The real Brother North. Follow him. Who we got? Kevin is in here? Oh, Kev, what up? We got Virginia in the building. We going to start and uh, I'm going to open the lines up. I'm going to give it one more minute, y'all. We do one more minute and, 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 and we just, um, holy smoke, Ashley in the building. I see you, Ash. You need, to, you need to get your pops up in here. I know your pops, he, he ready to be a power move maker. You're never too young. You're never too old to be a power move maker, y'all. Tell me if my lighting is right. I had to do this in the office tonight because I'm like, yo, there's no way I'm going out there. And typically I do this from the car. And I'm like, there's no way I'm going out there and jeopardize us getting jammed up with this IG again. So if worse comes to worse, I throw the Wi-Fi on. But can y'all hear me clearly? Is the lighting good? Are we ready to go? 
Just let me know. Movers, can y'all hear me good? Are we ready to go up in here? Give me the thumbs up. Okay, I see everybody saying I'm good, I'm good. I'm about to open this up. And, 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 and please feel free, ask your questions. If I can't answer it, somebody else is going to answer it. This is this is not a me thing, it's a we thing. And we're going to keep going. All right, let's see who we got and we're going to go. See, we got first jumping into this live. Every week we growing, y'all. As y'all can see, this live is growing every single week. I'm so proud of y'all. I'm so proud of what we doing here. This is this is this is definitely gonna continue to grow. Please tell me IG Live ain't acting up again. I'm waiting for somebody to get in. And it is not showing on this side. This is crazy. Okay, they're not holding us back. Like, we're going to figure this thing out. Like, I don't care what nobody say. Hold up. IG, like, I'm ready to throw this. Movers, bear with me. I don't know what's going on, but it is not letting... Trying to let somebody into the live. Tell me if y'all can see on y'all side. Hold on a second. Tell me if y'all can see on y'all side. But it is not letting them in. I'm trying to let people in now. Okay, here we go. Prez, what up, bro? What up? Who we got? DJ whatever, the whatever kid, man. My part in my lighting and all of that. Oh, my God. Yo, whatever. What up? What's good, bro? My fault, man. I'm, I'm running around. You know, I'm, I'm I'm moving over the next couple days. So, you know, just been handling a bunch of stuff. What's up, though? Nah, it's good. And, and that's the right choice of words. You said you moving. That's what we do over <laughs> here. We movers, brother. Yeah. You, in, you in never, all you never areas. apologize for moving. That's what we nah. do. Nah, definitely. What's what's going on, man? Listen, no, nah, I'm off, glad you, know, you checked in. You've been down. You've been down with us from day one. You was coming out to to LIU Brooklyn when we was doing this out there. And you've been following and a diehard supporter. So you understand what it is that we're trying to create here, the community we're trying to bring together. So if you can, for any, I mean, everybody knows who DJ whatever is, but for anybody who, because we got people from Canada in here. We got people from, from the UK in here. Just let them know who you are. And if you can really just drop some jewels because you're a huge DJ here in New York, but obviously the DJ community took a hit. So how are you even um, pivoting during this difficult okay. time? And maybe it can help somebody else. Okay. Well, first off, can everybody hear me? Because I see IG bugging a little bit. You can hear me, Press. I hear you just fine. It's super dark, but I hear you just fine. And we okay, can see that IG is bugging. So yeah, if in your car, you can turn the lights on. Maybe that'll yeah. help. Yeah, I got, I got, hold on. Let me see if I can get another light on. Is that a little okay, better? Here we go. That's a little better. That's a little better. Well, first off, man, salute to you, bro. Because for people who don't know, I met you back in like 04 when I was interning at Hot 97. And and you was running around with Diddy. Diddy brought some food up to Hot 97. He was running the marathon. You know what I'm saying? And you came through. I met you, and we've been connected ever since from day one. So I met you at the beginning of my of my journey, man. But I know you said for me to introduce myself. Everybody know me as DJ whatever. I'm on uh Power 105.1, uh, Jamming 945 Radio, iHeart Radio. And I'm just grinding in this DJ thing and entrepreneur thing. And I'm all over the place with it, man. But, um, you know, to to make a long story short, and I even said with meeting you in 04, like you met me at the beginning of my grind, man, when when I had just graduated from college. Actually, when I met you, I'm bugging. I was still in college um, at Hofstra University in Long Island. And I just knew... I wanted to be a DJ, man. I knew I wanted to be on radio. 
I grew up listening to, to, to Funk Master Flex, Red Alert, uh, Marley Mall, and I knew I wanted that. So at that point, when you met me, that was just at my, my time when I said, I'm willing to do whatever it takes mm -hmm. to be able to get an opportunity. And if that opportunity meant me, you know, going to get uh, coffee for Funk Master Flex or, or whoever it was or DJ Envy, it didn't matter to me because I knew I was putting myself around the people who I wanted to be like. So when I met you, man, it wasn't about a dollar. It was just about meeting people. It was about networking. It was about seeing and being around the people who I wanted to become like. So, God. you know, and I, even after that internship, man, I, um, I got an internship at Power 1051. So you see how I jumped from one internship right to the next, Brez. I wasn't playing, right? So jump to that other internship. Um, I graduated from college. So a lot of people ask me how I got into radio, and I'm like, I, so I, I realized I graduated from college, man. I'm sitting at home, and I'm like, nah, I got to get back in somehow. So each and every week, I emailed the people who I interned for at Power 1051. It wasn't a week that went past that they didn't receive an email from me. And it took me about nine months of emailing, but eventually I got that call to come in and eventually got a job working on the street team. And it was it was it went from there. You hear me? Started working on the street team. Even then I didn't give a damn about how much money I made. Some people was talking to me like, yo, you a college graduate. How you driving around handing out T-shirts in the streets? I'm like, I don't care. I don't care. I'm around what it is that I want to be around and, and the people who I want to be be like. So it was the same thing, man. It just kept on doing that. Worked as a, a, a street team guy driving the trucks around. Um, went into production from there until one day I got the opportunity that I was looking for when one of the PDs said, yo, I heard you DJ. I'm going to throw you on a mix weekend. All right. Threw me on on the mix weekend. And ever since there, that was it. You get me? Yo, I love that story. And I'm going to tell you why. It's a couple of things that stand out. And for all my movers, listen to this. Listen to what this man just said. Number one, we know, well, I'm not going to say we, but all in New York, Tri-State area know you, Power 105 on the radio. But you were willing to get in where you fit in. And I talk about this all the time. You just got to get in the door. Put your ego to the side. This man said, I was a college grad, and I'm interning, doing menial tasks around the office. But because you were humble and you showed your worth, one day, you, you, you got that call. He's like, yo, I heard you DJ. I'm going to put you on mixed weekend. But had you not humbled yourself, that would have never happened. And too many people would have been like, no, if they're not paying me, I'm not going up there and working for free. So I love that you said that. Yes, you had your college education, but you were following your purpose. You were following your heart. You exactly. had that backup plan. That paper wasn't going nowhere. You got your degree. But you be told, if you were going to get in this game, and, and everybody say they loved something, whatever it might be. I love this. I want to do this. I want to, okay, you want to do it so bad, but you're not willing to do it for free. So I love that you said that. And then, you know, before I just, and I just want you to speak one, once again, here's something that everybody needs to listen to. The man said he met me in 04. I'm moving with Diddy. He didn't say I came up there with some new artist. I came up there with Diddy. We struck a relationship, and he was an intern, his first internship. So it doesn't matter. Like, like people have this thing where they think that they're supposed to act a certain way because their business card has a certain title to it. Mm. At that time, I didn't know you were going to become what you became. But imagine if I had been a dickhead and been like, no, talk to, <laughs> like, like, I don't talk to interns. And it just goes to show you, it don't cost you nothing to be a nice human being. It don't cost you nothing to, to treat 
the intern the same way you would treat the VP. So I love this story, whatever. Thank you so much for even telling it. Nah, definitely, man, because that's, that's how it goes. Like, and like I said, you met me. I was just, I, I saw you up there with Diddy, you know, everybody eating, and I just stepped to you, had a conversation with you, and bro, you ever since then, you showed me nonstop love, even during different times when I would come meet with you, you know, in the Bronx at your at your uh, office, when I might have been a little frustrated in my career and trying to figure out what was next, because I knew I needed to grow and I knew I needed to pivot and do different things. And you was always there for me, bro, to have a conversation and 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 just chop it up with me and, and give me ideas and keep me motivated. So, you know, I, I truly appreciate you from day one on that, man. Nah, but that that I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, that's our job. And, and and what I'm doing here, it didn't just start. You 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 giving my own testimony. This this is this is who I am, and this is how I want our community. It is our job to give back to the next set of movers out out there. This mm -hmm. like like this is this is what we're supposed to do. If we don't. If we're the only people in the building that are making money, if we're the only people in the building that got the knowledge and, and got the access, we are doing something terribly wrong. I am a lot stronger with people who I help pull up, people who maybe I just gave a little bit of advice to or a little bit of encouragement to because that goes a long way. And then when they move up, I got an ally for life. So yep. there's something for people to learn with that. I appreciate yeah. you telling that story, brother. You inspiring me right now. Nah, listen, man. I'm just, I'm just kicking straight facts, my brother. You get me? Straight facts, man. Like, like I love it. And even when you were talking, I think you asked another question, even in regards to the DJs and what's happening right now. Like, pretty much, DJs got to figure some shit out. Like, we've had to figure some shit out. There is no... There is no being in the club five nights a week no more. There is no traveling to Vegas for me for the iHeart Music Festival. You get what I mean? Like, yeah. you know, I'm I'm doing virtual events and stuff like that, man. But that's when it comes time when you have to pivot, like we all do. You know, somebody told me either you either you evolve or you die. So, you know, like for me, even with you know my my clothing or whatever it takes, clothing, um. You know my my DJ Academy, which is super huge that I'm doing. A can lot can, of can we talk about that for a second? Can we? And I want to let more people in, but can you can you really talk about your pivot and and and, and what your DJ Academy is doing and your clothing line? No, for sure. Well, I mean, bro, I think at a certain point I was DJing, and you start realizing like, cool. When you first get in the game, it's all about the love, and then when you start getting the money. It's all about the money, the flash, the 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 women. You get what I'm saying? Have these that sort. And I reached the point where it was like, I gotta do more, bro. If this shit was the all in for tomorrow, like what I just said, go out today on the radio, or did I did I give? Did I inspire? Did I encourage the next generation? So for me. You know, it hit me one day, a friend of mine invited me out to a school, like, to do, like, a DJ demonstration. And, bro, the, the love that I felt from the kids, man, and how 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 energized they were by it, I said, I got to start a business, man. I got to start a business and expose these kids to, to different things that I know you and I didn't have the opportunity to see in school. You get me? When I was in school, bro, all they told me I could be was a lawyer a doctor and nothing against those professions yeah because we need them but i wasn't too interested in school because i didn't i didn't like i didn't like none of that you get me so now they wonder why i was a a, a c minus student and going to summer school every year bro i wasn't interested in none of the stuff they would they were teaching me and then you know even i was heavy into sports and music but nobody tells you that you could be the Sean Prez working at a label. Everybody or just thinks if you're working in music, you got to be Diddy. You got to be a rapper. You got to be the, you get me? Nobody knows Diddy needed you for so many years to be able to conduct certain things. He would have achieved probably certain levels if he didn't have a Sean Prez in his corner. So pretty much for me, man, with the DJ Academy, I just decided, hey, let me use my God-given talents 
and the things that that I'm able to make a career out of and teach the youth, man. And when you see, you know, they look at me and they, you know, you get some dudes that ask me, they like, yo, you really do this for a career? I checked out your Instagram page, like, you all over the place. And I'm like, yeah. So now you you see, and, and, and you know, because a lot of times they have parents that to tell them that they, they can't do certain things because their parents don't personally know a DJ who's making money or mm -hmm. don't personally know, you know, a Sean Prez that's, that's moving and shaking and doing his thing, man. So it was just honestly my way of, of giving back, man, and, and teaching the, 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 the next generation, you know? So right now, you know, I'm, I'm doing my thing, man. I, I got a sponsorship with T-Mobile, so I've been working with them guys heavy. And it, things been good, man, just been inspiring. And the same thing with the clothing. Like, the clothing is for whatever it takes. And that's just inspiring people, man, that, that at the end of the day, are you willing to do whatever it takes to succeed? Are you willing to do whatever it takes to 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 be a good person, to to grow your family, to inspire others? So that's all it's about, man. Just living in my purpose and, and trying to truly give back and thinking about legacy more than just a nice car, a nice watch, some nice jewelry. That's going to come and go. But at the end of the day, when I do leave, I want people to be able to say, yo, I remember this guy, man. Like, he helped me. You hear me? But that's that's what it's all about, and and I'm gonna tell you, brother, you 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 said so many dope things, and it, you know I got people trying to get in, so I'm gonna make it quick, and I and I thank you for coming on. Number one, I love that you said evolve or die, mm -hmm. guys. We we all going through this COVID thing, but DJ whatever. He's a DJ. There are no clubs right now. There's no way for DJs to make money, but he still figured out a way to use his talents just differently. He adapted, and so can you. If you're watching this, if it's a roadblock in front of you, you adapt or die. Just evolve. He didn't. He's still DJing, but it's through his DJ Academy. He's teaching. He's using his name in a very creative way, DJ whatever. It's whatever um, whatever it takes clothing. So so I love that you said that. Whatever, real quick, where can people find you at? Oh, man, oh, djwhatever.com, at djwhatever, just spelled or whatever with a U. Um, like, you know, still on, on iHeart, a bunch of iHeart radio stations across the country, man. Still doing my thing everywhere, so... That's all, but the at DJ whatever pretty much on all platforms, just spell or whatever with a you, you'll find me. You know, I'm, you know I'm not hard to find, Prez. Nah, nah, and, and, and thank you so much for always supporting this community of movers. This is what this is all about. This is about us. It's, it's, it's it, like, if, if we only just gave back a little with just some of these nuggets and gems you just dropped, it is building the next generation of movers. And I love that you took time out of your day to come in and, and, and just speak to the next generation of movers. So I appreciate you. I love you. And just and, and, and thank you for always supporting me. I love you too, bro. And I'll be back anytime, man. Anytime you want me on here, I'm, I'm with it. Done deal. Be good, whatever. My bro. One. What up, y'all? Yo, yo, first off, um, shouts to my man, whatever. I see a lot of people jumping in this live. This is where you ask your questions. This is our safe space. I cannot tell y'all this enough, guys. Every Monday is just Motivation Monday. I jump on. I say a few encouraging words for us to get our week off to the right start. But Wednesdays, this is all of us. This is where you ask your questions. This is where you give your testimonial. This is where you jump in and can listen and get inspiration from like-minded people just like you. So I'm going to let my next person in on this live. Who we got real quick? Come with questions. Oh, I see my man Ed Hennings back in the building. Who we got? Okay, you on live. You on live. Who we got? Prez, what up, man? How you doing, brother? What up? Who did, who, who's this? TC Unleashed? TC Unleashed here, brother. How you doing, man? I'm good. I'm good. Good to see why don't you. you why, don't you tell, why don't you tell this community of movers who you are, what you do, and, 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 and if you got any questions or any inspiration you want to share, please do so. 
Absolutely. Uh, my name, as I said, is TC. Uh, I have a, uh, a YouTube channel called TC Unleashed. Um, the channel uh, is geared towards upliftment and encouraging people. Um, I jumped on today. I've been, I've been on, I, I've been jumping on your live since you started, actually. Um, this is my first time actually uh, jumping on live myself. I'm kind of nervous getting on the camera, although I do this myself, but each time I jump on, I'm a little nervous. Mm -hmm. With that being said, guys, I just want to say this is a great thing that you're doing, Prez. Um, it motivates me as I try to motivate others. Um, I'm not going to take up too much of you guys' time. I just want to, again, I just wanted to say thank you uh, for what you're doing here. Uh, for all you guys um, who's just sitting around, and I, I also want to speak to the guys that's just sitting there not jumping into this live. Right now, guys like you and me, and when I say you and me, I'm speaking to guys that's sitting around and not jumping into this live. You have free jewels right here. Not only free jewels from Preds, but I've noticed, like I said, I've been jumping on this live since day one and you've had numerous people on this live who can teach and, and empower us uh, to move forward and for all of us please take this opportunity um i wasn't gonna jump on here like i said i watch you every day i watch the people talking to you every day but again i'm inspired and encouraged by you and the people that i'm seeing coming on so if you're sitting there and you're watching this, guys, again, and you have questions, this is free. This is free. Like, you ain't going to get this nowhere. And, and, and I've tried. Like, 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 I watch videos all day. I have a YouTube channel. I do research all day. I'm trying to grow a channel. And you don't get this type of information for free anywhere without somebody asking you to sign up for a lesson or a class that you need to pay for. So, again, again, I'm not going to hold you guys. Please jump in. Uh, uh, thanks again, Prez, for allowing me this platform uh, uh, to show myself and to introduce myself to, uh, and my channel. God bless, guys. TCI. Troy, Troy real quick, t tell everybody where they can find you um, on social media. Just plug your channel once again because that's what this community is about. We're going to help each other grow. We are going to support one another. If anybody has a clothing line, plug it right here so we can support one another. Because it, it might be just, you know, a, 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 a few extra subscribers or a few extra followers or a few, you know, T-shirts that you sold. But that might be just the, the battery in your back to know I can go a little bit further. I can do this. So really, before you leave, just tell everybody where they can find you. I'm trying to type it in your room there, Sean, but I'm on, I'm at uh, YouTube TC Unleashed. I'm on Instagram TC Unleashed, at TC Unleashed. I also have a, a, a repost page, Eyes on My Repost. It's spelled exactly as it said, Eyes, E-Y-E-S, -E -Y -E -E on my repost. Um, thanks again, uh, Press, for giving me this platform. And again, guys, if I can help and assist you in any way with your channel or whatever it is you're doing, please link up with me. Uh, um, again, this is what this is all about. I'm happy to be a part of it. Thanks again, Bryce. Troy, be good. Thanks, thanks for checking in, brother. Keep supporting us. Let's support one another. One. Absolutely. Thank you. One. Okay, I see we got a lot of people waiting. I'm not going to bore you all with, 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 with plugging. Oh, one thing I want to plug. If y'all have not watched this week's Power Move Maker interview, you must go check my man Jamil Spencer out. It, it, you know, he's a marketing guru. He's a marketing genius. He has worked with some of the biggest artists, celebrities, and brands in the world. Not just in the U.S., but in the world. This man is giving free gems, free game to anybody who needs to promote market. Or, or, or just get their brand out there to the masses. Uh, who we got? Who we got? 
See this um Tom <laughs> Deep Burke, what up? What's up, Prez? What's up? Derek, man, that like like this is all it's always it's always my pleasure to speak to you. Of course, I know you but introduce yourself to the Power Move Art audience. It's nothing but movers on here, nothing but people trying to, to get ahead in life, start businesses, and this is where we just share information and try to help one another. Yeah, well, I commend you, Prez. This is so important. My name is Derek Ferguson. I had the pleasure of working with John Prez. I college on the line. I think I saw Jeff Tweedy, a bunch of others uh, at Combs Enterprise, Bad Boy, Revolt. Uh, I worked there for 19 years. Chief uh, Financial Operating Officer. I see Bill Spencer uh, on this. You got them all right here. There's a lot of money. Yeah. Right here. Yeah, so and, and, uh, Derek, you can say, but anybody who don't know, it's a lot of money in the building right now. A lot of fees. This is I don't know. I, that Jamil Spencer check. I can't even. Get, I can't even get thirty seconds marketing advice without a couple of thousand. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, Jamil did an incredible interview for anybody who needs to know about marketing, especially if you have a brand or if you have a service. You couldn't even afford that man. And what he gave away for free was incredible. So one of the things, so I worked for 19 years for Bad Boy and Puff and really had an incredible time working on all of his businesses. And now I work at Rock Hood Foundation, uh, really a uh, fight for your city. And the reason why your conversation is so important, Prez, is that we're not going to get people to, need to get to the convention. Way. The system is just not, really um, is not really set up for us to go through a, a, a to, to go through the system, right? We have to, we have to find other ways, and I'm finding that out even more clearly as we're studying poverty and solving poverty issues uh, in, in, in New York. I grew up in the Bronx, town view, uh, and I was fortunate because my dad was an entrepreneur. Uh, and I'm from a long line of entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurship is the great equalizer, and that's why I love what you're talking about. Entrepreneurship. My dad uh, only had a high school diploma. He ran a successful business all of his life. You know, you could have uh, people with business degrees, PhDs that can't run a successful business for a week. So the great equalizer. You have a passion, work hard, and you have uh, and you're delivering something people. This is what's really critical, I think. A lot of people say, I want to be an entrepreneur, but you're not offering anything of any unique value. We call it a white. So what are you solving that no one else is solving? You either have to solve a new problem or solve the same problem and make it as safe as solve the same problem so and have it so it costs less. Or solve the same 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 problem better than if you don't answer one of those three buckets, it's another T-shirt, nine out of ten people look at it and say, it's just another T-shirt, it probably is not going to take you there. Mm -hmm. You know, and, you know, my, so just quickly, you know, I'm from a long line of entrepreneurs. My grandfather owned a company in the South, a little light-skinned like me, so he was able to pass, but he ran a business in the segregated South for years. All of his sons and daughters were entrepreneurs. My father owned a trucking company. My mother owned a deli in her own business most of her life. So I just came up with you know, so much. So my grandfather, I was fortunate enough, and my parents got to get a great education. And one of my uh, educational achievements was at Harvard Business School. And I remember when I went to my grandfather, when I graduated from the Harvard Business School, you know, he kind of was puzzled. Did you already graduate? What's going on? And he looked at he, he look, he's like, all right, go get all that education and go work for anybody. <laughs> so that just shows you how how deep the entrepreneurship is in my family. Nah, I'm so happy that you told that story. And Derek, I I, I think um your, your your microphone might be a little loud because there's a slight delay or echo something coming through. But um I love that you told this story because I, I'm all for education, all for it. But, but you, you said it, 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 entrepreneurship is the great equalizer, and it really is in our community. And I love the fact that somebody like yourself 
who who went to Harvard Business School, um, you know the value in getting that piece of paper, but you still understand being a child of two parents who were entrepreneurs, look, this is our way to get out. This is our way to come up and create generational and 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 um generational wealth and break that systemic all the systemic things that are working against us. So I'm I'm so happy that you pointed that out. And 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 I think it was a need because yes, we can come on here and we can push entrepreneurship, push entrepreneurship, push entrepreneurship. But people need to know you 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 you're not you're not average. Like if if I can remember, didn't you go to Harvard at about sixteen years old or something like that? I would, I I started my undergrad at sixteen. Uh, <laughs> Listen to that, y'all. Yeah. Nah, great great the, advice. The thing I would say is, you know, and again, growing up in the Bronx, you know, one of the things that was powerful about seeing my father as an owner of a business was just how how the neighborhood responded to him. Like most of my most of my uh, friends' first jobs, uh, my father gave it to them. Uh, I remember I was working for my father every weekend and, uh, you know, he paid me. So I would get like paychecks and I was like 11, 12 years old. And my friends would just look at me like, yo, you got checks, you got a bank. <laughs> but like, you know, you, you know, you making $200 a week as a 12, 13 year old, like that's just proof in the pudding of what hard work can do and what entrepreneurship can do. And, you know, the main thing I would say to people is because I think, you know, entrepreneurship has got to be for you. And if it's for you, it can't be a whim. Like, you got to have an idea, and then you have to have a plan. You know, that's the main thing. Like, don't have an idea without a plan, because you will fail. And it's okay to fail, but I think don't fail for a reason that's obvious. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I just printed a bunch of a bunch of T-shirts, and I didn't know what I was going to price them at, and this, that, and the other. Then I failed. No. Nah, Fail, give it a good hard try with the right plan and 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 the right upfront work. And then if you fail, you learn from it and move on. I love that, Derek. I love that. You pointed out so much great gems. I love that. Fail with a plan. Fail like you did everything humanly possible. And Derek, I want you to speak on one thing before I let you go, because your 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 um your microphone was messing up earlier, but I think it's I think it's necessary that we go back to it for a second. Talk about that white space, you know, just, just a little bit because I, I don't think that that the audience really got that. So what I was saying about starting a business is you got it's got to solve it's got to fit in one of three categories. You got to really be addressing a white space, and what that means is you're solving a new problem. You're bringing something new to the marketplace. You're offering something unique to an audience that doesn't already have another great option. The second way it can make sense is you're offering something that already exists, but you're offering it for a lower price. Or if you're offering something that already exists, but you've improved it, right? So if you don't hit one of those three categories, you're very likely to fail because there's just no need for it in the marketplace. And even if you have a little short wave of success, it's likely to fail. So I was make, giving the example, if you print a t-shirt and one out of 10 people like it, it's probably not solving a problem or bringing anything new to the market. You probably should move on to the next idea. I love that, Derek. Derek, thanks so much for this invaluable information. And obviously, the people on this live don't know you in the way that I know you, but I really wish that they did and understand who you are to jump on this live and, and give the kind of free information that you just gave. I can't thank you enough, Derek. If y'all don't know Derek Ferguson, please go Google this man. Derek, where can they find you at online? I'm at uh, uh, Instagram is at dfergus65. That's probably the best place to hit me. But I got to tell you, Prez, you got heavyweights on this line right now, though. <laughs> I'm a lightweight compared to I see Tony Abrahams. I'm a I'm I'm a lightweight at best on this line. So I really appreciate what you're doing. And people, please understand, you know, this line is packed, packed with talent. Yeah, but you want to know something, Derek? I, I I like to look at this as a for us, by us, 
I, I really think that within our community, there is a wealth of information and there's so much that we can do if people like yourself, you know, are willing to give back and share. It costs nothing to, to, to just drop a few gems on somebody. Who knows? Somebody in this same live could be that next mogul tomorrow. So thank you so much. Thank you, Prez. Always good seeing you. Be good, Derek. All right. Shout to Derek Ferguson and shout to every, I mean, there's so many heavyweights in this, in this live. Like he said, this is what we do. Please, y'all, spread the word. We are movers. Y'all, like, like movers move together. Y'all must have friends and family members who are movers. Invite them to what we're doing. Don't keep this to ourselves. This is where we can ask questions. This is where we can learn from one another. Let's start sharing and inviting people every Wednesday night, 7 p.m. Let's see who else we got waiting to jump in. Uh. Wednesday night, 7 p.m., Monday night, 7 p.m., and please make sure y'all go listen to this week's interview with my man, Jamil Spencer. You can find it across all the streaming platforms. That's, that's iTunes. It's, it's Spotify, any any place that you can stream a podcast or go over to YouTube. Please subscribe to that channel because every week I interview heavyweights. Hold on. Let me see who we got. Oh, yo, yo. How you doing, brother? I'm good. I'm good. Who we got? Logan. This is Darius Logan, you know, uh, artist from uh, Los Angeles, California, uh, Crenshaw <laughs> District. Uh, but Darius, really, what up, brother? Blessed, man. Nice to see you, man. I I've been following along with, with your journey. I uh, also watched EYL, and I saw you speaking on there, and I was super excited um, just because recently, as I've been kind of getting into, into more music opportunities and stuff, I've just seen the impact of not only a bad boy, but also like you were saying on here, like of your work and of how well you were able to position uh, the things that bad boy was doing in a major way that, you know, really took to me, took them over the top. So thank you for uh, for just being a blessing to the black community for real, because it's inspiration to me. Um, thank you, brother. Thank you. Just just those words. Let me know that this mission that I'm on, because this is a purpose driven mission. For me. Yeah. It lets me know. That 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 it is reaching further than I could even imagine. So thank yes, you. Sir. Yes, sir. One of the so, things that I've I've been kind of interested in and wanted to, to talk to you about is that you were kind of talking about how you were building uh, these these or and have built over the last couple of years these programs and these uh, opportunities for DJs to get love and stuff like that. And really, again, as an artist. I realized how important having those uh, those people are to making your music go. Now, mm -hmm. during these times, it's like quarantine and stuff. But, you know, I'm looking for the different ways that possibly you have a like a service or some type of list or something like that, that you, you know, that you'd be willing to work with uh, up and coming artists like myself, um, you know, who has been featured on stuff like Insecure on HBO. I've been I opened up for Meek Mill. I've done a lot of different stuff uh, throughout the, the time of my career. But also, I feel like uh, the associations and um, are really important in this industry. And I realized, like, as a guy who's like just making dope music and like people randomly hearing it and putting it on their TV show, it's very different than being in the industry. You know? Okay. So, so before we before I even answer that, what do you go by? What, what, what is your what is your MC name? Is it Darius? It's Darius Logan. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Darius is, Logan. Is, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So first and foremost, you know, I applaud you, number one, for taking time and being brave enough. Like the reason why we do what we do is yeah. for this. This is what it is to come and ask your questions and be able to get some real answers. So I applaud you for being brave enough. A lot of people are just, you know, they have the questions, but they're afraid to jump out there and ask it. And I always say the same thing. This is a safe place. We are movers. We are one and the same. So what I like to do, there are services. 100% they're services. I don't do it like, like I used to because this is my life purpose. But are you familiar with DigiWax at all? No. Okay. No. Writing it down the, the now. CEO, no, don't, 
Put it like this. You can DM me. But my man CL, he owns a company. It's one of the biggest email blast services in the world. I, I call it an e-blast services, but, but it's so much broader than that. And he interacts with all of the DJs week over week over week, wow. pushing new music out. But more important, he just introduced something called, and I believe, and don't don't quote me on this, it's either New Music Mondays or New Music Thursdays, where he brings artists onto his platform and he introduces them to hundreds of thousands of DJs. So I would love to connect you with him. He's a personal friend of mine. Again, his company That's is called D I G I. Wax with two X's. two X's. So if you DM me, I promise you, I send you um Digi Wax's information, and you know what you do from there is on you. But yeah, all I can do is connect the dots for you. I'm grateful for you, man. Thank you very much. I'm I'm going to DM you, and I'll be real specific with with uh with the information that you've given me, just so that you know for sure that it's me. And uh you know the prayers I will be able to move on, bro. But just like what you were saying, I've I'm you know been in this quarantine for a while and have realized like you know. I'm from LA. So all the different things that go on in LA, you know, whatever celebrities at the place, like I overlook it because I've been here. And it's like home to me. It's like, oh, this place is kind of corny. And what I started to realize over this last maybe two years that I've really been making my push and releasing music and doing all that stuff in the industry is that I've been, um, you know, taking for granted, like all of the resources that are actually around me. And so even mm -hmm. me getting on this this live right now, I saw you doing live, and I was like, I want to get on. And I was like, I don't even know if I should hit the request button. I don't know, whatever, you know. And so, again, I'm glad that I did. But also, I'm glad that you see that there is a difference between someone who is like, I wish I could get on, I wish I could do whatever, and someone who's just willing to request and just ask what's going on. I've got, you know, I've got the resume to prove that I'm doing something dope, and I would love to continue growing it. So thank you very much, bro. You, you, you're more than welcome. Somebody in the comments just said it. I, I think it's my man, Dwight King. Dwight, what up, brother? He said it was New Music Wednesdays. Mm -hmm. So I'll make sure I connect you with them over there. They're great people. They've been in the business for now 20 plus years, and they're Amazing. well, well respected within our industry. So I'll be more than happy to help you. And again, if I could just leave you with anything, and for all my movers who's in this live right now, you got to be willing to step up and put your nuts on the line like like he stepped up it's no such thing as a bad question dumb question like step up this is what we do like you can't call yourself a mover if you are too too afraid to make moves so darius i i i appreciate you, um, you. dropping in i want you to, to tell everybody where can they find you so that they can go follow you and support your music Yes, sir. You can follow me at Darius Logan, uh, just like it, it is up at the top of your screen. But also, if you type in loverboytrap.com, I'll repeat that. It's loverboytrap.com. Then you'll find a whole Essentials playlist of all of my music that's kind of either been featured in TV or been featured on commercials and all that kind of stuff that's kind of continued to grow me to be able to get a more understanding of, uh, of my music, man. But thank you again very much. Thank you, OG, because you are one of the reasons that I've really got into trying my best as an artist to understand things outside of the art so thank you bro good man good man i'll see you later darius yes, sir. Be blessed. success one what up y'all shout out to my man darius logan please please make sure y'all go follow him to see who we got requesting to get in <clears throat> okay i sent that request out god willing it works okay how we Okay, we we we, we 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 got royalty on the line right now. Let me tell you something, man. You got D Ferg. What you how you get D Ferg out at night? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's breaking up. It's breaking up. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Let's see how it goes because it was breaking up for a second. Yeah, I needed to understand how you got my man D Ferg on out at this time of night. <laughs> you 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 know that De that De Derek might be in that office, but Derek was always that dude who was the he, he was on that last train, that 2 a.m. Metro North back home. So Derek always worked like like after hours. He was he was 100 percent corporate, but but Derek would be out to 2 a.m. every night. Yeah, yeah. And I, you know, let me tell you something. 
Um, it wasn't the last time I saw Derek Ferguson, because the last time I saw Derek Ferguson was um, on the screen with a bunch of amazing folks trying to help um, Biden become the president. Um, but one of the most recent times I saw him, we were in, we were in, we were at the All Star game, and Derek Ferguson had me in the club. He had me. We went to go in the club, and I said, "How I known you for twenty five years, and now you got me in the club." <laughs> Hold on. <clears throat> For anybody who is not familiar with your face, which they should be, because you gave such an incredible interview on the Power Move Makers podcast, please let them know who you are. Uh, my name is Jamil Spencer. I am currently the CEO of my own company, Rightful Place. Um, I have previously held um, roles uh, with and alongside of some of the most amazing um, personalities and culture. So whether it be Puff, you know, I, I spent a lot of time with Derek. I actually known Derek Ferguson from before then, actually. Yeah, D. Fer, you don't want me to tell the story. I know the D. I got yeah. some stories. Um, but uh, yeah, I worked with you know, worked with Puff. I worked with Jay Z. I worked with uh, Rich Dennis. I worked. I worked. I worked with a bunch of. But you know, the most important thing that I've done, honestly, and I think what really comes through on what you're doing right now is that I've been a part of the community. Right, the the, the ecosystem, um, and it's amazing to to now look back, um, and I'm continuing to, to build on it. Right, I I, I really am um, am proud of the, the the friendships and the connections that I've made in life, um, but you know nothing will ever compare to that a moment that amazing moment in time that we had, where you know we we built something amazing, um, something that clearly has inspired a bunch of young folks. Um, and, you know, we, we, we just working hard to, con to, to continue to remain relevant. I see my, my sister Ann Sampowski on here. Wow. Um, so, yeah, man, it's, it's, it's a testimony. That's what it's all about, man. And I, and I love to see the consistent, the continued evolution. Like, um, you know, I'm, I, can't, I can't say that I'm surprised to see you doing what you're doing. Because, quite honestly, I think that me and you have probably had, you know, that same interview every time we walk by each other in the office at Bad Boy back in the day. Yeah. Right? Um, but, um, but yeah, man, I'm just, I'm happy just to be a part of the story, man. Right. Just to be a part of the movement and do, and do my little bit of part, man. I think that, um, everybody has a gift and if you don't realize what your gift is, then the world does without, I, I, I stole that from, um, my, my homegirl, Car Caroline Wanga, who's the, who's now the, uh, the CEO of Essence right now. Um, uh, hold on, hold on. Say that again, because I love that. Say, say, I, I'm gonna highlight that say, one more time. Everybody has a superpower. Everybody has a gift. And if you don't find out what that gift is and share it with the world, then the world does without. So it's our responsibility. It's our, and this is, that's, I'm, I'm, giving, I'm giving full publishing. That's Caroline Wander. She is currently the editor, and she's the, not editor, she's the CEO of Essence. Uh, and she was formerly the chief um, diversity and inclusion officer at Target. So she's a, yep. she's a heavy. Um, but yeah, and I believe that, man. And, and so it warms my heart when I see you doing this. It warms my heart when I see D Ferg, you know, checking in. Um, and all of my brothers, man, I, you know, I, I just had a back and forth with Dowie, who, you know, it's funny, you know, I look back at that interview and, I, and the crazy part is I watch the whole thing and I watch the individual clips every time. It's, it's almost like obnoxious that I'm watching it, but um, it just makes me feel good, man. It takes me back to a time and place. And then I feel bad, like, I, you know, I, I, Dawi hit me, and I was like, man, I should have definitely talked about Dawi, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, we had um, literally, like, the cream of the crop, all, like, it was, like, almost having, like, I mean, you you think the Golden State Warriors had, like, the, the dream team or, or, like, them, you know, whatever team. Like, we had the most amazing team of individuals working in one building at the same time, you know what I mean? I see Rocio on there. Um, so, you know, we did, we did it, man, and we continue to do it. And, and now it's our job to reach back and, and you know, really inspire young folks to, to do better than what we did. You know, that's what, that's what we hope for. You know, I, I hope to, to do better than my parents did. I hope my kids do better than I do. And, and we keep on moving this thing forward because that's what we need as a culture. You know, we are in a, um, a different set of circumstances. You had the brother on there. I think his name was Ed Hennings yesterday. Ed Hennings. I think, I think he's on tonight. Ed, if you were, if, if you're in the building, wave, man, because you are – a powerful, powerful brother, and I got to get you back on 
because we wasn't able to save your clip. But go ahead, and I'm and I'm glad you brought him up, Jamil. Yeah, he 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 brought up something, and I and I typed it in the comments when I, when I heard him talking. It, it was ghetto engineering, right? Um, you know, we we as a people, we are the kings and queens of figure it out, right? Because mm -hmm. we know because like the first said, right? You know, entrepreneurship is the great equalizer. You know, we don't we don't we weren't given the normal opportunities, and so the fact that we start. You know, um, you know. I think I saw a, a, a great piece of content right around the George Floyd situation, where there was like, you know, white guy saying, "Well, everybody who has two parents in the house, you know, stand here you know, and take two steps back, right?" And it, and it showed a bunch of white folks who had a head start and a bunch of black folks who had, who were who were who were behind the eight ball. Um, but the reality is that that has become our secret sauce as a people, because we know that we got to work harder, we got to be more creative. And we got to think outside of the box, so we figure out how to how to put, you know, the 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 um the clothes the the, the hanger on the, on the top of the TV to get the reception, right? Like we find we find ways to do things. We find ways to steal the cable from the from the apartment upstairs. <laughs> um, we don't we don't get it the regular way that everyone gets it, and, but but it don't really matter because the way you get it is all that matters. I see my brother Aubrey on here. We got bad boy alumni on here right now. Um, oh, oh, Aubrey in the yeah, building. Man. Aubrey, what's up? Is, you know what I mean. So yeah, that's what we do as a people, man. I, I, it was I, it was dope to hear that brother talk about. You know, he was in jail for I think he said twenty years, and now he got five businesses. And I mean, that's 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 black folks in a nutshell, right? That's that's what we do, um, and we got to make sure that we don't lose that energy as we become more successful. These kids who what have we had, right? And we're not going to be able to reinvent the struggle that we had. But what we can mm -hmm. do is give them the access and the information, right? And access and the information should become the new currency. You know what I mean? And so, um, you know, I'm 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 happy with where I'm sitting in the midst of culture today. I love the fact that we continue to have these types of conversations. Um, and and I think the future is bright, man. You know, I, I think the future is bright. I think I think that we got a real opportunity to change the trajectory of culture because that because we are the curators of culture. Like we this is this is something that we earn that we own. Um but we got but we gotta find a way to actually own it, right? We we give it away. So how can we own it is 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 the is the next that's the next assignment as a people. Well, you know, Jamil, I want I want to touch on a couple of things you said. Um, you know, in, in, first I'll start with my man Ed Innings because I got to get him back in here because we wasn't able to save his 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 uh, commentary last night. But I'm sure Ed had no idea that you, as accomplished as you are, heard his story and was just so inspired by it. And that is why I do what I do. We all come from humble beginnings. We all have these challenges. But you don't know when somebody on the other end just needs a pick-me-up, just needs to know it can be done. It don't matter what yesterday looked like. Today's a new day. So I love that you brought that up. And then... I find myself always saying the next generation. But truth of the matter is, I look at you, who has been a, a, a C-suite exec for the bulk of your career. But you've transitioned into entrepreneurship. And I want to point that out to anybody who's in this live. This is not just about kids and us trying to encourage college students, or people fresh out of college. No, it is never too early or never too late to make power moves. It is like, like you, you're living proof. You're a C-suite exec. And you said, you know, at some point in your life or whatever, I got to start. I've been making others rich for a long time. It's time for me to do this myself. And I need for anybody who's in this live, if you find yourself working for someone. And there's nothing wrong with that. Maybe you just need the encouragement to continue to move up to the C-suite. Or maybe looking at a Jamil Spencer 
you get that encouragement that you've been at your company for 15, 19, 20 years. It's time for me to forego that guaranteed paycheck and start betting on myself. So I'm just glad to even have you in the building as an example, not just to the next generation, but to somebody who's been grinding in their office for so long and are, are, are straddling the fence about jumping out there and doing it themselves. My brother, and let me tell you something. Um, you know, you would think that at 50 years old and with the wealth of experience and all the stuff that I had, that it would have been easy. But I don't think it's any easier, um, you know, being older, right? I think it's more difficult. I have way more responsibilities. I got way more bills. Um, real talk, and I and I have real struggle. And I and I'm not, you know, I think that social media is a place where people act like their lives are perfect, perfect, right? Mm -hmm. I'm here, I think it's more important for people to know. I want to look you in the eye and let you know I fucking struggled. Like I preach, struggled. preach, preach. You know, like I struggled, struggle. I struggled like I was 20 years old, right out of college. Struggled, but you know, and it was, it was, uh, you know, it was higher class issues because I got a big house and car and shit like that. But I struggled, like, like straight up was, you know, was twisted from time to time. But never lost faith. Knew that I had, you know, the ability. Knew I had the relationships. Um, was able to do some things that probably normal people couldn't do in terms of reaching out and get help from friends. But, um, but you know, just know that it's, you know, the struggle is a part of the process. Like just, and if you liken it to like, even like something simple, like working out, like you ain't never, if you, if you, if you, you know, been in shape your whole life and then you decide to just go on vacation for three months and then start your own gym, right? You're gonna be sore as shit at first when you first start working out. Like that's just that's just part of the growth. Like this this pain with growth, right? This if and by the way, the higher that's a great point, Aubrey. The, the higher the stakes are, right? The the more the more difficult, the more the bigger the losses are. But you know, I, I win really really big, and I can lose really really big. And so, uh, and I think that's important for people to know, man, because I think that you know we living in a time where people are glorifying. To success, right? I always talked about one of the things when I worked with Puff and Jay and those guys, you know, I always looked at, you know, young people looked at the end of the book. You watching, you watching Jay-Z, you know, on stage at Yankee Stadium, but you don't remember Jay-Z when he literally was like selling CDs out the trunk of the car and nobody wanted to sign, right? And you can't get Jay-Z at Yankee Stadium without Jay-Z out the trunk of the car, right? It's, it's all part, it's part of the journey. And so people just need to be Mindful of the fact that, yeah, you're going to struggle, but that's normal. It's okay. Oh, I got my daughter in here. Yes. Yeah. Easy. Um, and so, yeah, that's, it's, it's part of the journey, man. It's, it's and it's important, man. It's important for people to know that um, you're going to struggle. And, and, and if you don't struggle, that's, that's, that's that, you know, if you, if you ain't struggling, it's going to happen at some point. It's going to come. Right? There's, no, there's no success without pain. Um, but just know that you got to stick to it. Um, you got you got to keep working. You got to you got to believe. You got to have the faith that it's going to happen, um, even if it you get to the point where you think it's going to happen. Because I'll be clear, there was a million times where I was like, I'm good now. I'm straight, right? Mm -hmm. And then literally four days later, I'm like, oh, right. <laughs> and so you know, it's like you, if you if you if you ain't growing, you dying, right? You know, it's funny people complain about getting older. Right. And when, when I say and when people you know, I'm like, yo, it's way better than the alternative. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And so, um, you know, there's also a, a crazy saying, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. That does not apply to the world we live in today. If you ain't. Hold continue, on. That don't apply. Can I correct you? If you're in this live, you are a mover. You're a mover. It don't apply to us. It doesn't like, like, like go, go where you go in Jamil. But I need everybody to know if you took time, because right now you could be Netflix and chilling. You could be sitting on the couch smoking weed somewhere, playing PlayStation, but you are here. That means you are a mover. So it don't like, like, I don't care what's going on out there. It don't apply to us. That's just background noise. But I'm sorry for cutting in, Jamil. You, no, you hit it on the head. That's it, man. You got it. You got to continue. What up, Drew? You got to continue to to keep on growing your skill set. Like, listen, you look at the most the athletes are the most the most amazing example of of that muscle, right? You know, athletes train their whole entire lives, and every now and then you see you we see them very publicly fall down. 
but the best of the best athletes always add something to their game in the summer, right? LeBron James, he get that post game right. And when he first came to the league, jump shot wasn't really all that. Now the jump shot looked like good money, right? Like if you're not continuing to lay, you're not going to have, you can't be LeBron James, four championship, three different teams without adding something to your game on the regular. And so you, and you got to have that energy. And by the way, you said the most important part, man, like if you extract the things that don't matter from your day, Think about how much more time you got to invest in your future. And so I, I actually I was at an event one time. This, he was this uh, brother, older brother. He was the CEO of General Motors Company. And he was getting an award. And he said, um, he said, there's two types of balls in the world. There's glass balls and rubber balls. Rubber balls are things like hanging out, Netflix and smoking weed, all that shit. If you drop that and you walk away, you come back, that shit bounces right back up. But a glass ball is like time, your relationship with God, um, you know, things that are really, really important. If you, it's, it's precious. Your relationship with your kids, right? The example you set for the people next, if you drop that, it breaks. And once it breaks, it's gone. And so once you start to think about how you invest in your time and your energy, it really could change your trajectory. If you spend, you know, two, three hours a day, you know, trying to figure out how to find some weed and, and all that, then, then like, then, you know, I don't really want to hear that you ain't doing what you're supposed to, that you can't really get it done because that's two, three hours wasted. By the way, you take that and you multiply it by a seven day week. Now you 14, 21 hours. Of there you go. Time. There and you go. Then, and, and, and like, you know, if you want a job, which is like you said, there's nothing wrong with a job. But a job has a start time and an end time. But if you want a career, it's always on, right? So you will find me. I'll be at my kid's basketball game. I'm on the phone. I'm in the car. I'm on the phone. I'm always trying to figure out if, I, if, I'm, if I'm not actually doing it, I'm thinking about how to do it. Um, and and that's, that's the blueprint, man. It, it's not, it, ain't like, it ain't like a secret, right? <laughs> there's no secret. There's no, there's no substitute for hard work. No such thing. And I'm 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 gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you like I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna tell you like my man Ed Hennon said last night. How, how did he put it? Is is nothing works like the work? That is that, one of the coldest lines I heard. Nothing gotta, works like the sir. work. By the way, you, I'm gonna give you an idea. We need to do all of the dope quotes that come from these conversations on the Power Moves T-shirt line. We need that. But let's talk. Hit you offline, off line, brother. Yeah, I can't Hitting you offline about that. 100, but Jamil, I, I, I thank you for your time, brother. And, and, and for anybody who has, I mean, just listening to you, I'm inspired. And it's so crazy because I said this a few weeks ago. When I started to do this, I, I was doing it for, you know, the next generation. And I was doing it for all of the people from my hood in the Bronx, because there's South Bronxes all over the world. But what I didn't realize, what God revealed to me, I'm doing this for me. Sitting on the other end of this and just hearing you speak, <laughs> I, I'm so inspired. I got chills. You was dropping so many gems. And, and for anybody who's in this life, you can't get this nowhere. I don't know where you can get this. I don't know where you can get this with the, the, the caliber and the level of, of success that's sitting on the other end of this conversation. So, Jamil, I thank you so much, brother. I thank you, and I love you for all that you do for our community and just being a great friend to me for so many years. Nah, and so before, and before I let you go, before, before, first of all, there's, there's just as much inspiration on the other side, on your side as well. And be clear, man, the best testimony to Louis Lou, the best testimony to, uh, you know, how you live your life is that people show up. Like, you text me and say you want me to jump on there. I'm like, yeah, cool. No, nope, I'm in. I'm there. You got, I mean, you got Luke, You got, you got D Ferg, man. Oh, you know, he had D Ferg on here, man. D, what's D Ferg doing? On here? I didn't even think D Ferg had Instagram. All right. <laughs> so, like, so just so just know, man. Like, like what you're doing is important. What you what you've done 
And who you've always been? You've always been a stand-up dude, man. You've always been that guy. Like, when I see you, I'm excited to see you. It makes me happy. You know what I mean? I remember the other day, you you was having lunch with um with, with Emmett mm -hmm. around the corner of the crib, and he told me you was coming. I said, oh, I'm I'm there. <laughs> I'm like, I'm missing my man. I ain't missing my man, my man Sean Perez. So so you know, so so much the love is right, the love is right back at you, my brother. I appreciate you and don't ever change and keep on going, man. Keep going. Yeah, I don't I don't know no way, other way to be. And um, you know, we just gonna keep inspiring and encourage each encouraging each other. Thank you, Jamil. My brother. My brother. Okay, guys, we 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 over our 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 hour limit for whatever reason. I can't get my words out tonight, but this is our community, guys. This is what we do every Wednesday. This is what we do, and we're not going to stop building this until we have thousands of people at one time in this live. Please tell your friends to tell your friends about what we're doing. This is our hour. Power Move Maker Hour, every Wednesday at 7 p.m. I just want to shout, I saw my man MC Search drop in. Yo, Search has been my brother for years, since the 90s or something like that. I see Tony Dofat in the building. Ed Hennon's in the building. It's just so many heavy hitters in this building. I mean, I don't even know. Lou Tucker in the building. It's just so many heavy hitters in the building, and I promise y'all, I'm going to do my part. But I need y'all to do your part and share. This is a us thing. It takes a village. It we are our own, our own village, and we're gonna keep sharing and we're gonna keep helping each other grow. I'm gonna end it here. Go check out my man Jamil Spencer's interview. It's now on YouTube. It's also on podcast form across all platforms: iTunes, Spotify, so forth and so on. I love y'all. Keep making moves, movers. We're going to end it here because I, I, I like to try to keep it around the hour mark. So we just um, took it over an hour. I see y'all on Monday night for Monday night motivation. And then again on Wednesday night um, next week, both at 7 p.m. for our power move hour. One love, y'all.